Hi, welcome to section 4, Implementing the Forest Trails application. In the previous section, we looked at the design and requirements for our application, and now we get to start writing code. In this section, we'll lay out the main source code for the application, start defining the user interface, implement the main program, and end up with an application that we can run and test. It won't do anything yet, but this will be the framework around which we can implement all the various features. In this first video, we will lay out the application's source code and create several files which we'll need for our application to run. In particular, we will set up our application's directory structure based on our knowledge of standalone PyQGIS based applications. We'll then create the main program and a suitable script to start it up and finish by adding the various UI resources we'll need and creating a make file and the resources.qrc file needed to compile these resources. We're going to create the Forest Trails system as a standalone Python program built on top of PyQt and the PyQGIS library. We'll start by creating a directory to hold all our various source files. Let's create a few of the files which we'll need. The first one is foresttrails.py, which is the main program for our application. As you no doubt know, it's common practice in a PyQt based application to define the user interface for your application's main window in a separate module. So let's do that here. We're also going to need some shell scripts to set up the environment variables we need to be able to run our application. Since the way this is done depends on which operating system you are running, we're going to have to create three separate shell scripts, one for Linux, one for Mac OS, and one for Windows. Of course, you don't need to create all three, just the one appropriate to your operating system. But in this video, we'll create all three of them. First for Linux, then for Mac, and finally for Windows. This gives us a good starting point for a new standalone PyQGIS based application. Because of the complexity of our program, however, we're going to have to add a few more things here. First, we'll create a data directory to hold all of the geospatial data our program will use. Next, we'll store all our icons and other resources in a subdirectory so that we don't clutter up our main folder. We'll call the subdirectory resources. We're also going to want to create a couple of extra Python modules. MapTools.py will hold the source code for all our various map tools. And a second module, constants.py, are going to hold constants that are used throughout our program. We're also going to need a resource description file to identify the various icons and other resources our application will use. And finally, we're going to use a make file to compile the resources file into a Python module. Now we've laid out all of the files and directories which make up the source code to the Forest Trail system. So let's start filling some of these in. It will start with our main program. We're only going to create a minimal placeholder here for now, starting with a few import statements. We're next going to implement our main function, which gets executed when the program is run. This should be pretty familiar to you, as it's the standard way of launching a PyQGIS based application. As you can see, all of the work is done by the Forest Trails window class, which we haven't defined yet. Let's execute this main function when the application is run. Now all we need to do is define the Forest Trails window class, which of course represents the application's main window. There's going to be a lot of code in this class, as all of our action handlers will be defined here. But for now, let's just implement the basic class itself. So that's our main program for now. We're also going to need to define those startup scripts which launch the application. As I said earlier, you only need to create the version for your operating system, but here we're going to create all three of them. Let's start with the version for Linux. If you're running Linux, you're going to have to find the path to your QGIS installation and replace the path to QGIS text here in all three lines with the appropriate values. Now, for a Mac, 
this is how you define your startup script. You know, remember that you don't have to type all this in yourself. You can download the source code, so you don't don't need, need to worry too much about the details here. Finally, for Windows, this is what our batch script will look like. Now that we have the basic structure for our application, as well as a first cut at our main program and a suitable start startup script, let's try it out. Now, before I, now because I'm on a, running on a Mac, I'm going to have to make my startup script executable before I can run it. And now, in theory, I should just be able to do that, and there it comes up. There's my window. Not much happening yet. We've got a blank window, and that's about it. Now, notice here in the background, I've got some error messages popping up. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about these. It's quite hard to suppress them, and they don't actually cause any problems, so we're just going to ignore them. Close the quick program. So now that we have a starting point for our application, there's one more thing we want to add before we finish the video. Our application is going to make use of a number of toolbar icons, and we need to add these as resources to our application. Here are the various icons we're going to use. You can download these, or if you want, you could create your own version, or use Google Image Search to find some suitable images. Just make sure that they're in PNG format with a transparent background and that they're no bigger than 24 by 24 pixels. So let's copy these into our application resources folder. There we go. As you're no doubt aware, you can't just use these image files within a PyQt based application. You have to turn them into compiled resources first. To do that, we have to add the files to our resource description file. Now we next need to have the make file to convert these resources into a Python module. The contents of this make file will vary slightly depending on which operating system you're using. For a Mac, the shape file will look like this. As you can see, I've done a little bit of setup here before calling the pyrcc4 and pyuic4 commands. For a Mac, these are built into QGIS itself, but on a different operating system, you'll need to refer to the appropriate location for these tools. Finally, let's try compiling our resources. And as you can see, it's created a new file, resources.py, that contains the compiled version of all those images. In this video, we started implementing our forest trail system by laying out the application's source code. We created enough of the main program so that it can be executed and then wrote a platform-specific startup script to run the program. Finally, we added the toolbar icons and created the scripts needed to compile them.